The Migration Information and Data Analysis System is brought by IOM, funded by the people of Japan, to help trace and control migrations within and out of the country. This is the first ever initiative in the Gambia, but the system is already in 20 countries. The Gambia makes its 21 as it has launched its own in this gathering. Abubakar Jiba, representative from the Ministry of Interior, extends gratitude to IOM and also seeks for more assistance. On behalf of the Government of the Republic of the Gambia, the Minister of Interior visits to further request through IOM, the, through IOM the Gambia to the People's Republic of Japan for extension of assistance with expansion of MIDAS installation to the rest of our country, land and sea borders. To the, uh, borders. This is in effect will help a synchronized data-based management of migrant information to deter dynamics of emerging security threats, especially in irregular migration management. For Miko Nagano, Chief of Mission IOM, while assuring their continued support to the Gambia, revealed what IOM have done so far in this project. IOM ensures that governments have full and exclusive ownership of any data recorded by MIDAS. IOM has provided GID the equipment and infrastructure to sustainably use MIDAS. These include workstations composed of desktop computers, web cameras, passport readers, fingerprint scanners, and field servers, field databases, immigration booths, CCTV cameras, local area networks, solar power supply, air conditioners, fans and furniture, and finally a central database server set up at the immigration headquarters here. IOM also supported technical capacity building on the use of MIDAS, including four border officials trained to process and record traveler information on MIDAS, 10 immigration officers trained on advanced use of MIDAS to facilitate step-down trainings, and 20 officials of GID statistics unit trained on data management, analysis, and reporting. C.D. Toure, Director General of Gambia Immigration Department, ensures donors for the good usage of the system and assures that there will be no third party in controlling the system. The system will, without an iota of doubt, greatly enhance the efficiency and accuracy of our immigration border operations, especially on monitoring those entering and exiting the national territory, which equally provide, while equally providing a sound statistical basis for migration policy-related planning, for the government of the Gambia. All information collected through the use of this system is exclusively owned by the government and people of the Gambia and controlled by GID and GID alone. The system is said to be currently in the borders of Jibora, Kir Ali and Amdalai. These key areas of intervention believe to improve preparedness and responses to mass movements so as to protect those who crisscross borders in emergencies and ensure that the security and health of migrants is well maintained. However, it is feared that inconsistency of power supply and stable network will hinder the process of the system. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Awatore.